family, this is Greg once again coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. The title of today's message is Developing an Inner Image of Yourself Walking in Victory. Developing an Inner Image of Yourself Walking in Victory. I had the opportunity this weekend to watch a special put on by National Geographic on the Blue Angels flight team. Now the Blue Angels are five pilots seven total if you count the two alternates. They are a precision flight team. Now I've always heard of, uh, I had always heard of the Blue Angels, but I never, I still haven't seen a live performance. And I, I this special on National Geographic was the first time I ever really um, took the time to learn what they do. And they are an amazing team and I'm looking forward to seeing them live this year. They fly they do several, a multitude of different maneuvers, but this one particular stunt they do, they're flying 700 miles an hour, approximately 12 to 15 inches apart. The, the, the maneuvers that they do are phenomenal. They're amazing. It takes an incredible toll on their bodies. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of practice to be that good and to be that precise. But in interviewing the captain of the flight team, they, he said that it wasn't the practice and it wasn't the time put in and it's not the wear and tear on their bodies that um, affects them the most. What affects them the most is the temptation to become complacent. You see, they practice, the Blue Angels practice two times a day, six days a week. And in doing something um, that amount of times continually, it's easy for complacency to slip in. One of the main things that stuck out with me during this hour long special was a practice that they call chair flying. Now they chair fly before every performance that they perform and they perform 70 times a year. What they do is they go into a briefing room before they actually perform and they sit in chairs. Only the five performing uh, pilots are allowed in this room. And they actually close their eyes and they go through all the radio commands and they actually perform the performance before the performance. They actually fly the mission with their eyes closed in this room together. They have that practice so instilled in them that once they go out and actually perform for the crowds, they've already done it. They've already done it. They're simply walking through what they see inside. They've already performed that performance. So I want to ask you, how have you, how are we programming ourselves? What vision are we taking the time to instill in ourselves to assure our victory? We have a guarantee in the word and that where that that guarantee is that the thief is coming wouldn't it be great in this natural world if we knew ahead of time that a thief was coming we could prepare ourselves we could shore up our doors and our our windows and make sure that our our homes were locked up tight and our valuables were put away and we're prepared and there's no way knowing ahead of time that a thief is coming there's no way that the thief should be successful against us well, likewise, if we know the thief is coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy, it seems to me that it would, it would be prudent to take the time to close our eyes, to meditate in God's Word, which we're commanded to do, to get that Word lodged deep in our spirit so that we can see ourselves overcoming, so that we can see ourselves using God's word and overcoming sickness and disease and poverty and fear and lack and everything else that comes against us. Take the scriptural ammunition, the scriptural weaponry that we've been afforded in God's word, just like those blue angels fly the flight before the flight. Fight the enemy before he shows up. Fight cancer and beat it. Fight lack and beat it. Fight uh, disobedient children and beat it before it actually shows up. So when and if it does show up, you've already walked it out. You're just walking out what you already see inside. Faith becomes easy 
once the Word of God is lodged in your heart. So I want to leave you with that today. And I'd like to encourage you, if you haven't done so already, to join us in our YouTube community by clicking on the red subscribe button on your screen. By doing so, you will receive notifications when new videos such as this one are posted. Likewise, I'd like to invite you, if you haven't done so already, to join us on our blog at faithsmessenger.com. We currently have over 550 individual blog messages on the blog which address a myriad of different topics. Now these are real life, relevant, everyday topics that each and every one of us has to deal with. So once again, that blog address is faithsmessenger.com. Now with all that's been said today, I'd like to leave you with a question. Now this question can be posed to anything you may be going through today in life. And that question is, is anything impossible? with God. Have a great day, family. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.